Hello, my art loving friends. We, I know I just got home from a trip, but we're on another trip for business. We're in my husband, well, one of our rock crawlers. Duffy's there. We had to take Jack to the vet. He cut his paw. Anyway, I just wanted to show you because I'm using the carry all light again. And you can see how I just drag, <laughs> drag it. I always grab it by this handle like all the time. And it's holding up well so far, but this is only the second trip, obviously. Anyway, I thought you might want to see how I packed for this trip. It's similar, but I packed a few less things and then I'll show you how it works throughout the trip. Right, Let's see if I can do this and hold the phone at the same time. So pretty much same as last time, but instead, sunglasses, <laughs> the all important Kleenex, very, delicious candy snacks, jerky snacks, trail mix snack, the all important rag. <laughs> ah, I put my tea bag back in here because you never know when you're going to want tea. And this time all I brought was the little Etcher A6 sketchbook and because I'm still trying to use it up, this poor Hemi Mia watercolor palette. Someday I will use that up. Maybe I'll paint tonight before I go to bed. Whoops. We have a party tonight we're going to. Well, party. It's just a bar potluck barbecue. Anyway, earbuds, extra battery pack, and my purse. Stuff's in that back pocket. But anyway, oh, maybe what I was saying is I'll paint something even if it's just playing with paint colors tonight before going to bed. I think that will be fun. I put the... Water brushes on the outside pocket again. I did have this same little bottle of sunscreen stuck in this pocket, but we pulled it out and used it, and it's over here in the console area at the moment. But fits everything nicely. So yeah, nothing's a whole lot different. What's that? My ruler, some Mentos, cause that's important. Lipstick, cause I love lipstick. I'm kind of addicted to it. <laughs> the fine liners, so. This works really well loading up one side, but it's, I don't know. I guess I did put a few extra things in the front, like the tape and this phone charging cord, but I'm not sure how well it would work if you loaded up both sides. Maybe it'd still work. Someday I'll try that, but I just don't need both sides when I'm traveling this small, so. Since I'm not a pencil or marker artist, these are pretty big bags of snacks. I'm glad they fit. The problem is I get the snacks, well, it's not a problem. I get snacks out more than I get painting stuff out, that's why they're on top. If I was a bigger painter than I was a snacker, I would flip-flop those, but I'm not, so there. All right, it is day two, and we had a rollover on the trail. And that takes a couple hours to get vehicle back up and working again after that, especially when things underneath it break. So I am pulling out my painting stuff, seeing if I can paint something. But I'll show you what I painted last night in the room. Just painted that little thing because I really like the red in this set. And I don't know, I could only think of hearts for some reason. All right, there's the vehicle. Where is it? can't see it. <laughs> There's the painting. Okay. Can't see through my screen. <laughs> Hello, I am back home in the studio. I had one more day out on the trail that I didn't film anything, but I wanted to show you a couple things with this bag now that I've used it a few more times. So you could probably tell that trip was pretty dirty, so it's covered in dust, which is fine. That's how they're supposed to be, is used, right? You can see where I have my book stuffed in the back. The dust has stuck to those edges and it's kind of maybe faded it a little. I'm not sure until it gets washed, we won't know. But this stitching here is starting to come out. I'll get you a little bit closer. See that? I'm losing that stitching on that zipper end. So I noticed that. 
the zippers, even though they're covered in dust, still open and close really easily, which I love. These are great zippers, at least so far. And then because I have to kind of go like this to see where that snap is and then snap it, and you can tell that one wasn't even snapped because sometimes I give up. These are kind of bowing up just the tiniest bit, which I expected, and you can kind of see right here where that snap is. There's a bit of an indent or outdent. <laughs> I did lose the cap off of this water brush somewhere in the rock crawling rig. So I started to put this one in this way, which if the bag is upright like this, I don't really like storing water brushes brush side down. I think that has the risk of getting a lot of water leaking out, but I also don't want to lose the caps. But you can see here, there's not that much water, but oh, there's still some paint in there. <laughs> Didn't get that all cleaned out, did I? So you might think about that, storing them the other way. I'll just grab a cap off of one of my other water brushes because I do like these two the best and replace this. So this zipper here, yep, you can see it still zips super easily. Just so smooth. So that's great. And then I noticed a wear spot right here on this corner. Right there, you see that? There's no cracks in the pleather or anything, but I wouldn't expect any after only using it. I think it was five, let's see. My previous trip was seven days in total of traveling, and I did take the bag and have it with me, and I was using it, so I guess we'll count all those seven days because it was being lugged around. And then this last trip was three days on the trail, so we had Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and then coming home Sunday. And that's all I've noticed as far as wear and tear. A little bit of rubbing right here. But that's pretty extreme conditions sitting in the rock crawler. You know, it's sitting there, dust, dogs crawling over it and getting on it and rubbing up against it. So I think it's doing okay. This one's a little bit of a concern because they don't want the zipper in to come out, but I can always stitch that back up myself. Well, that was just an extra bonus video in case you wanted to see how this bag is working out. Only two trips, a little bit of wear and tear, but I use them harshly, so there is that. I think most of us who take our bags out and about, they end up getting bonked about, so it's nothing unusual, maybe a little more dust than normal, but I do like the size. I wish it were wider instead of deeper, but it's working out. I'll be trying to use Jazz's bigger bag for my classes this week. I have a new set of classes starting this week that I don't think I need as many supplies for, so I should be able to use that, but we'll see. I still kind of need my light boxes. I'm not sure they'll fit in there, but time will tell. Thank you guys so much for joining me for this bonus Jazza bag video. I really do like the quality. I like the feel. I like that I can grab this back handle. I like the zippers that they're opening so easily. Still wish it fit a water bottle in the side pocket. I'll get over it <laughs> and I'll use it until I can't anymore. All right, guys, I will see you in the next video. Bye for now. Ha, ha, ha.